Meanwhile, in Ohio, where the decision is too close to call in a special election for the state's 12th congressional district. However, both President Trump and the Republican candidate, Troy Balderson, are calling it a Republican victory. The Democrat, Danny O'Connor, refusing to concede and promising to continue the fight. Balderson has less than a 1% lead over his Democrat opponent. The race might not be officially called for a few days. And overall, it was a record setting primary for women across the country. There are 11 female nominees for governor and at least 182 for the House of Representatives. In Georgia, Stacey Abrams won the Democratic Party primary, getting her one step closer to becoming the first black female governor of a state. However, a Democrat hasn't won the governor's seat in Georgia since 2003. We do encourage you to stick with us here on Local 4 and on ClickOnDetroit.com. We're going to have a full recap of all the election results there for you all day long, both here and online. Vice President Mike Pence is set to visit Michigan today, visiting Grand Rapids for a Michigan Republican Party rally just one day after the primary election. Pence is scheduled to speak at 630 tonight at the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel, right alongside Michigan's candidates for governor and U.S. Senate. U.S. House Representative Chris Collins of New York has been indicted on insider trading charges. The Justice Department saying the Republican congressman is facing charges of securities fraud, wire fraud, and false statements. The charges are related to Innate Immunotherapeutic, which is an Australian biotechnology company where Collins served on the board of directors. Collins, who was the first sitting member of Congress to endorse President Trump, turned himself in on Wednesday morning. You are looking live now at pictures where a press conference is officially underway. We are monitoring this for you. We do expect to learn more soon, and we'll have that for you a little bit later here on Local 4.